Fixing a torn ACL has been of interest to the orthopedic community for decades. Yet a narrow indication and inconsistent results have persisted. And while ACL reconstruction is the best available treatment, current methods are not without short and long-term challenges. Explaining why the pursuit to heal and restore the native ACL hasn't waned. Introducing Bridge Enhanced ACL Restoration, BEAR, the first FDA-approved technology that enables the ACL to heal itself is the culmination of two pivotal discoveries in ligament science. The first being that the presence of active plasmin and synovial fluid surrounding the ACL causes fibrinolysis and the inability of a torn ACL to form a provisional scaffold or bridge in the wound site. And the second was that the ACL can perform the other critical functions needed for healing to occur, including cell and vessel proliferation, cell migration, and collagen production. The combination of these two discoveries led to the development of the bare implant. Through an easy, bone-sparing arthroscopic technique, sutures are inserted into the torn ACL and joint. And autologous whole blood is then added to the bare implant. The implant is then positioned, bridging any existing gap between the femoral ACL remnant and the tibial stump, resisting synovial enzyme degradation and enabling cell and vessel ingrowth and proliferation in the wound site. Within eight weeks, the bare implant is resorbed and replaced with native cells, collagen, and blood vessels, and continues to remodel and strengthen over time. MRI indicates that the bare implant facilitates healing of the native ACL, so that at 24 months, its size, geometry, and tissue composition are more like native ACL tissue than autographed. Level 1 evidence for the bare implant demonstrates equivalency on IKDC, an instrumented AP knee laxity at two years, when compared to ACL reconstruction. This is significant because the torn ACL is not being removed and replaced with a large diameter mechanically strong graft, but restored with the help of the bare implant. Level 1 evidence also demonstrated that the effectiveness of the bare implant was the same for all tear types treated, showing that the bare implant is an effective treatment option for a majority of ACL tear types. Patients who receive the bare implant have also continued to trend towards lower rate of contralateral ACL tears as compared to ACL reconstruction patients. And 86% of patients treated with the bare implant return to pivoting sports by one year. The bare implant is the first substantial advancement in the treatment of ACL tears, backed by decades of research, as well as level one clinical evidence. In the hands of surgeons, the bare implant has the potential to forever alter the standard of care for patients with ACL injury. For more information, visit miocortho.com.